Previously. Class, this is Captain Lemke from the Irvine Fire Department. He's going to be talking to you today about holiday fire safety. So what can we do to be fire smart this season? Unplug your Christmas lights at night, remind your parents to test their smoke alarms, and always keep a safe distance from the fire plate. But on Christmas Eve, what are you going to do? I'm going to get in that fire! Place. Well, now you're on fire. Oh, yeah, then I call you. Hello, fireman. Come to my house. I'm on fire. Well, stop being on fire. Then come to my house and pull me out. I don't want to come to your house. I'm on my own. Stop, drop, and roll. Stop, drop, and roll. Santa's safe. It's a Christmas miracle. Shelly, 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 Shelly. Well, I'm leaving now. Sadly, it looks like I'll all be seeing you on Christmas Eve. This is Officer Kellogg from the D.A.R.E. program. He's going to be talking to you today about the dangers of substance abuse. I'm going to go sit in my car and call a man. All right. Morning, little guys. Good, Good morning, morning, Officer, Officer Kellogg. Kellogg. Look at that smile. You are one adorable cop, man. Uh, thank you. Great. Uh, so, the D.A.R.E. program has one goal, to teach kids all over the country to say no to drugs. So far so good <laughs> so okay I want you guys to imagine that right now you're walking home from school and a man in an alleyway says to you hey do you want to get high well why do people want to get high you know that feeling you get when you score a goal in soccer or you get an A on a test on top of the world baby Right. <laughs> unfortunately some people need to take drugs to feel that good whoa 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 hold up you're saying if I get high I can feel like I got an A on my spelling test, even if I got an F? Sign me up, man! No, 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 no. See, see, your body is just being tricked into feeling good. So if someone asks you to get high, you just say... Thanks for the opportunity! Absolutely not. No, no, because... Okay, what if they told you that in order to get high, you'd have to do a drug? Like, for example, smoke a substance called crack. I'd be like, smoke that crack! No, guys, no. The bottom line here is, drugs are very bad for you. You can get addicted to them. Officer, sir, I am straight up addicted to Chips Ahoy cookies. But I don't eat Chips Ahoy's all the time. I've learned to pace myself. And that is exactly how I'm gonna treat my crack. Oh, I get it. Drugs are okay as long as you're responsible about how much you do. She gets it. No, no. She, she does not get it. No. So drugs are kind of like a fun treat for a special occasion. Exactly. I finish my times tables, I get to unwind with a half hour of TV and a little bit of crack. Oh, crack's the new ice cream. Yeah. No, no, it's not. I'm sorry, what's your name? Shallon. Well, Shallon here is missing the mark hard and is throwing some of you off. So if anyone offers to sell you crack or any drug, you say no. Walk away, tell an adult. Oh, what? So that adult can horn in on my crack? Heck no. First come, first serve, baby. Okay, okay, okay. You are very confused. Officer Kellogg, if these grown-ups in alleyways who sell crack don't find me, how can I find them? Because of you, sir, when I grow up, I want to be the man in my neighborhood who gives crack to kids. No, you don't, because that's called a drug dealer, okay? Oh, you guys, I see at least three alleyways right now. After school, let's walk in them until we find drug dealers with crack. Wow, big day for crack. Okay, guys, everyone, just stop talking. You, you did this to me. You're going to help me fix this. Come here. What's your name again? Shallon. Okay, Shallon and I are going to play out a very simple scenario to make you understand. I will play a drug dealer. The hero of our story. <laughs> no, not a hero. Bad guy. So, pretend Shallon walks by me on the street. Remember, we say no to drugs. Hey, little girl, you want to buy some ecstasy pills? No, thank you. Only do crack. No, no, Shallon. No, you just say no and then you tell an adult. Any adult? Sure. Okay, I pick my mom's boyfriend, Doug. Hi, Doug. What? Are you my dad yet? What are you doing right now? Propose to my mom, Doug, so we can be a family already. Just stop it. I don't want to talk about your mom. Quit playing games, Doug. Be a man and put a ring. 
bang on it! All right, all right. You know what? I think we're done. If anyone asks what I taught you, repeat the three words on the chalkboard. Just say... Now! To crack! Challenge! 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 I'm sorry, I think your kids like crack now. Mrs. Finley, can we take recess early and seek out crack? Sure, just uh, follow a line later. Yay! Yay! Your cell phone rings, you don't recognize the number, what do you do? Ignore it. Ignore it, send a voicemail. Yeah, not this guy. I answer it. Yeah, exactly. Opportunity, potential, who knows? Who knows what it is? The other day I was driving down the 405, traffic. Legendary. Phone rings, 917, New York. I'm like, oh, I don't know the number. I hit talk, I go, hello. Guy on the other line goes, hey Bruce, what's going on? <laughs> My name's Jay, not Bruce. <laughs> so clearly I go, nothing much man, what's going on with you? <laughs> and he goes, I'll tell you what's going on, I just got an email about the budget, it's supposed to be 15,000, now it's 10,000, I'd like to know what the hell's going on. And I grab the steering wheel, I was like, all right, fucking focus, focus right now. <laughs> Your name is Bruce, there's a budget. It's 15,000, now it's 10, no one's happy about it. Just get, go with this, go with this. I didn't know much, I only knew what he told me, so I just said it back and I go, 10,000, it's supposed to be 15,000. He goes, yeah, well I just got an email and now it's 10. And I go, hey, I don't know what to tell you, man, I'm on the road right now, I haven't even seen the email. And he goes, are you behind this? Did you send it out? I'm giving Bruce some attitude, you know what I mean? And I'm like, no way I am taking that. There's no way, and I go, Listen, bro, the budget was 15000 We had a couple extra expenditures. It went up to sixteen two. I reworked it, got it down to fourteen seven. We had 300 to play with. I called it 15 I sent it out. He goes, yeah, well, now it's 10 And I was like, oh, my God, that worked. <laughs> stay focused. Stay focused. I'm not even enjoying it. You know what I mean? You, I can't even laugh. I have to say, I'm, like, literally in it. I was just in it. He goes, did Larry okay this? Larry. Now he's throwing Larry at me, yeah. So I go, listen, I took it to Larry. He said it looked fine, but I knew it was my ass on the line, so I ran it by Jennifer just in case. She said it looked good, I sent it out. He goes, yeah, well now it's 10. And I was like, this guy has no idea what's going on over there. He hasn't talked to Larry. He hasn't talked to Jennifer, I just made her up. Clearly, he has not spoken to Bruce. He goes, listen, man, what are we going to do about this? I go, bro, I'm on the road right now. I haven't even seen the email. Why don't you call Larry, check in with him, see what's going on, give me a call back. Literally, like, throwing the fishing line out, being like, please say yes, because that phone call return is going to be amazing. And he goes... He goes, listen, why don't we wait till you get home, you check the email, you call Larry, you call me back. I go, nah, nah, bro. Larry knows way more about this than I do. Give him a call, call me back. He goes, okay, hangs up the phone. <laughs> to which I explode with euphoria. Because there's a small business in New York somewhere that's crumbling to the ground. Over $5,000, no one can find Bruce, no one's talked to Larry, and they don't know who the hell Jennifer is. I get home, I'm so excited, I call some friends, tell them what happened. I think to myself, you know what, I'm gonna save that guy's number, give him a call in a couple days, check in, touch base, see where we're at. I save the number on my phone under random guy. He's a random guy. I don't think about it, a couple days pass, no big deal, laying on the couch, watching the game, phone rings, dining room table, watching the game, get up, pick up the phone, look down, random guy. And I think to myself, random guy? I don't know any random guy. Who the hell's random guy? And then I was like, oh, random guy! <laughs> now I'm freaked out, you know what I mean? I'm in my house, they know where I'm at. People, people's lives have been affected. 
but this is who I am, you know what I mean? I started this thing, I'm gonna see it through to the end. That's how I saw this. Put in my earbuds, just get a little distance, just get some distance, you know what I mean? I hit talk, I go, hello, same guy. Goes, hey Larry, what's going on? Now he's calling me Larry. He knows what's up, but I'm not gonna cave, you know what I mean? And I go, nothing much, man, what's going on with you? And he goes, listen, I got us on conference call with Janelle and Marie. <laughs> like I'm backing down from Janelle and Marie. So I go, uh, hey ladies. Welcome to the call. As if to say, welcome to the show. Here we go. How long are we gonna lie for? How long do you want me to lie? Because I am gonna go all the way. Marie, she takes the lead. She goes, hey, Larry, what time is it where you are? And I look at the clock, and it's 5.30. And they're a New York company, so I go, 8.30. It's 8, they're like sprinkling more lies, and like, I can fool them, I can fool them. She goes, really, what's the weather like? And I go, weather's nice, weather is nice. She goes, really, this doesn't sound like Larry. And I go, oh, yeah, who's it sound like? And the guy who called both times, he chirps in. He's like, sounds like Bruce! Sounds like Bruce! Like he's gonna blow this case wide open, you know? <laughs> and I go, I go, guys, this isn't Larry and this, and this isn't Bruce. And she goes, who is this? And I was like, I'm just some dude who had nothing better to do than to mess with you guys. Marie did not like that. She got pissed. She started yelling at me. She's like, we're a small business trying. I'm like, oh, I know. She's like, you think this is a joke? And I was like, well, a little bit. She goes, let me ask you something. I go, no, you let me ask you something. And she goes, what? And I go, where are we at with the budget? 